welcome all today we discuss about solid waste management as you know solid waste is posing a serious threat to the modern society it is because of rapid industrialization increase in population and technological advance advancement and moreover the throw away concept of the present society solid waste is generated more rapidly than ever before it includes paper rubber plastic metal ceramic household items and in the modern time electronic waste is also increasing now what does solid waste management means it means to control collect treat utilize and dispose of solid waste economically with the protection of public health before we go into specific disposal methods one will do some auxiliary operations like number 1 collection and transportation solid waste should be collected periodically and transported to the treatment site number 2 pulverization to reduce the volume and to make the waste homogeneous for treatment it is pulverized using jaw crushers number 3 compaction it is done using hydraulic process to reduce volume and to have lesser storage area now on to various methods of solid waste treatment and disposal the first one is composting we are all familiar with this composting which is done in every houses it is a breakdown of organic matter in the refuse by microbes like bacteria and fungi into a stable humus like substance which are rich in nitrogen potassium and uh, phosphorus that means you get a biofertilizer with volume reduced to 30 to 60% it involves interaction of organic substrate with microbes in presence of oxygen that means an aerobic oxidation and water to produce heat co2 and decomposed organic materials conditions such as substrate composition aeration and moisture content affect the process sorting of waste is necessary to avoid contamination you can see some photos of a compost designs and nowadays this paper compost is a very uh, common a very handy method in domestic situation now the method the procedure for composting it is carried out naturally or mechanically the garbage is ground after removing glass plastic and metallic materials which may contaminate this process and mix it with a nutrient source like sewage sludge animal manure etc that promote this digestion this is the this is called digestion decaying of the waste by microbes and a filler like wood chips is added to permit aeration because air circulation is required for aerobic oxidation it is kept in windows of width 2.5 meter and turned over twice a week to be mixed in 4 to 6 weeks the process is completed and you can use the residue as a manure or a biofertilizer second method of solid waste disposal is sanitary landfilling which is a common uh, scene around every uh, metropolitan cities you can see that it is the most common and economic method the waste is buried compactly in layers and covering it with earth each day here complex organic waste is slowly degraded by soil microbes like aerobic bacteria and fungi something like composting also degradation by anaerobic microbes also takes place when oxygen supply is less and it produce polluting gases like methane and which also is inflammable and there is fire threat in such cases this is a design of a sanitary landfill 
the method is mixed solid waste is delivered in trucks to the site after hand sorting pulverization or high pressure compaction is done to reduce volume loose materials are placed in the lower part after 3 meter depth at the end of the day it is covered with 15 to 30 cm of earth so it is kept in layers again here also the digestion takes place microbial oxidation decaying it is now called a cell each layers are called a cell the leachate that means the, the liquid extract which come out of this process is collected to avoid water pollution because the nearby water bodies may get contaminated so this leachate is to be collected there are some problems with landfilling like economic problem because the landfill use cannot be used for building construction because it will be marshy that land it can be only used for park or recreational area another is aesthetic problem because it causes dust bad odor presence of insects rats dogs scavenger birds etc will be there so it look it give, gives you a, an odd look and third one is environmental problem anaerobic decay produce leachate of high organic content and soluble salt which can contaminate groundwater and it can lead to metallic pollution also dissolving heavy metals into water bodies and that may reach the food chain now third one is thermal process incineration is one of the method incineration solid organic waste is subjected to controlled combustion so as to convert into incombustible residue and gaseous product advantages of incineration is uh, high volume reduction waste from bigger community can be accommodated here it reduces land requirement that means there is no land filling here and and it will not cause any pollution because we are using organic waste for incineration not plastic remember plastic cannot be burned or incinerated because it it will lead to air pollution disadvantages are high capital and operational cost is there it causes air pollution anyway unfit for radioactive waste there are different types of incinerators one is batch type is manually stocked and is used for small quantity but if it is not suitable for large urban centers where we use continuous type equipped with large storage bins automatic feed hoppers and ash discharging system is there so we can continuously use it for a large amount of waste hospital waste are disposed by pathological incinerators which work at very high temperature of the order of 1650 degrees celsius at which even non combustible fractions like metal glass etc get melted and it can be drained as molten slag and another thermal process is called pyrolysis where combust combustible constituents of solid waste are heated in a special chamber called pyrolysis reactor at high temperature in oxygen free environment that means it's not combustion it is uh, oxygen free or low oxygen process so that we can recover the chemical energy of organic waste that means the residue can be used as a fuel and the fourth method is very important actually recycling and reuse which should be part of our life especially when we are in an inevitable situation of using plastic we cannot do away plastic but we can reuse it we can give it for recycling so it helps to reduce the problem of waste disposal since disposal costs are increasing due to increase in land price and pollution control resource recovery has become more common and favorable recycling of plastic can be done in three different ways primary recycling here plastic product is manufactured again the same item secondary recycling here the material is reprocessed to a new product with different composition and tertiary recycling means plastic material is completely processed to a new form
as in pyrolysis. So a message, an important message uh, regarding this topic is that to reduce the accumulation of solid waste where plastic is an important item, we should stop, we should minimize using plastic carrier bags, we should use cloth bags instead, reusable bags at, and when you go to the market and make sure that you are not bringing any new plastic carrier bags. And there are many items which can be given for recycling. So the th three R's are very important in reducing environmental pollution. The three R's, that is reduction, uh, reuse and recycling. Okay? That's all. Thank you.